His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to Sir Keir Starmer following his appointment as the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom and Great Britain and Northern Ireland. His Majesty congratulated Starmer on the British Labour Party's success in the general elections. His Majesty the King wished the newly appointed UK Prime Minister success in performing his duties. His Majesty the King commended the historic Bahrain UK relations and emphasized the keenness to further enhance cooperation. His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to Sir Keir Starmer following his appointment as the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, issued a statement on the occasion of Arab Youth Day, which falls on July the 5th of every year. His Highness affirmed that Bahrain, under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, believes in the important role of the Bahraini youth in contributing to its progress march and achieving its development visions. His Highness noted the interest of His Majesty the King and Arab leaders to develop an understanding and awareness among young people, to enhance their role in developing various sectors and empower them to be the leaders of the future. His Highness highlighted the efforts exerted by the government led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa in support of the Bahraini youth by prioritizing them in the government plan and its keenness to launch and implement national programs that create a young generation equipped with the necessary expertise and skills to participate in the sustainability of the comprehensive development process in various sectors. Sheikh Nasser said that Bahrain has a clear vision for the long-term future and follows a distinct methodology that depends on young people to achieve it as they are the most able to shape the future with their vision and thought and advance the kingdom through their projects. His Highness added that the kingdom always seeks to facilitate all opportunities for the youth and emphasize that their voices are heard and opinions are taken. His Highness expressed pride in the Bahraini youth who are keen on raising their country's status in all fields and forums. He called on them to take advantage of all the available opportunities for them and work on developing their skills and capabilities to become a model for Arab youth. His Highness noted the effort of Arab countries and the opportunities provided by the Arab League for Bahraini and Arab youth to activate and strengthen the mechanism of cooperation as a comprehensive Arab framework that reflects the aspirations of Arab countries of enabling their youth. The first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the General Sports Authority and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khaled bin Hamad Al Khalifa affirmed that Bahrain is committed to supporting its youth and providing them with the conducive environment to achieve their aspirations. He highlighted the directives of His Majesty the King and the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, as well as the efforts of the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs and Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa all aimed at empowering youth to succeed and excel in various domains. On the occasion of the Arab Youth Day celebrated annually on the 5th of July, His Highness Sheikh Khaled extended congratulations to all the Arab youth, emphasizing that this day is an important opportunity to recognize the role of the youth in building a brighter future for Arab societies and nation. His Highness highlighted that Bahraini and Arab youth have always shown ambition and creativity during progress and development in all the fields. He also stressed the importance of mobilizing efforts from all government and private institutions to enhance the initiatives aimed at empowering the youth and providing opportunities to develop their skills and talents. The youth are the true wealth of the country and the pillar of construction, security, stability and civilized progress. During the prosperous era of His Majesty the King, the Kingdom of Bahrain continued to support and invest in its youth as they are the primary element of progress and development. Bahrain harnessed all its energies to support, develop and refine the skills of the youth to make them future leaders, which is the essence of the leadership vision adopted by His Majesty the King and supported by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, who made them a priority in the government's work program by launching and implementing national programs such as the Government Innovation Award Fikra. 
The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, is also working to fulfill the visions of the leadership by providing training opportunities for young people to create a generation capable of making national achievements. The youth and sports movement witnessed major achievements in its golden era with the continuous support of the first deputy chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, chairman of the General Sports Authority, and president of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa. Bahrain introduced many qualitative initiatives to support the youth, the most prominent of which is the National Strategy to Empower the Youth 2023-2028, to which is a general framework for empowering young people and developing their skills, in addition to the King Hamad Youth Empowerment Award to achieve sustainable development goals and the Prime Minister's Fellowship Program, the Youth City 2030 Project, as well as the Nasser bin Hamad International Youth Creativity Award. The Kingdom of Bahrain's celebration of Arab Youth Day affirms that the future of the kingdom is dependent on its youth. The Minister of Youth Affairs, Rawan Bint Najib Tawfiqi, emphasized that Bahraini youth received substantial support from His Majesty the King with continued attention from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. The support was created numerous opportunities for the youth to excel and be creative, empowering them across the various fields. The Minister's words came during participation in the Arab Youth portrait event, which was organized by the Minister of Youth Affairs in cooperation with the Passion Art Gallery on the occasion of the Arab Youth Day, where the Minister of Youth Affairs stressed the pivotal role that youth play in building the future of the kingdom. She also noted that dedicating a day for Arab youth clearly reflects the support of Arab countries towards young people in a manner that serves the realization of their future ambitions. The Arab Youth Portrait event witnessed the participation of an elite group of young artists who expressed their vision about the history, heritage and civilization of the kingdom of Bahrain and its developmental aspects. The chairman of the Shura Council, Ali As-Saleh, received the former Minister of Law, Justice and Parliamentary Affairs of Nepal, Dr. Shiva Maya, in the presence of the Nepali ambassador to Bahrain, Tirtha Raj Wagli. As-Saleh praised the friendship between Bahrain and Nepal and the development of bilateral cooperation. He affirmed their keenness to enhance cooperation, exchange experiences with Nepal, and continue visits between the two friendly countries, noting that the Shura Council supports strengthening parliamentary relations with the Nepalese government. The Minister of Health, Dr. Jalila bint Asayid Jawad Hassan, met with a delegation from King's College London, UK, in the presence of the Director General of the Institute of Public Administration, Dr. Sheikh Rana bint Isa bint Daij Al Khalifa. The Health Minister emphasized the Ministry's commitment to enhancing cooperation with global experts in various programs and academic institutions. The meeting discussed key training programs that contribute to capacity building and development and support of national health personnel. Additionally, it addressed several topics of common interest as well as opportunities to strengthen cooperation and exchange of expertise in the future. The Chief Executive Officer of the Real Estate Regulatory Authority, Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, stressed the continued keenness to support the real estate sector and enhance the investment environment to attain more achievements in this vital sector, which continues to diversify the base of the national economy. Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa noted the remarkable development witnessed by the real estate market as shown by statistics recorded since the beginning of the year. He added that the first half of this year witnessed an increase in the number of applications submitted in the real estate sector in the Kingdom of Bahrain, which was represented by the submission of 11 applications to license off-plan sale projects worth 255 million Bahraini dinars. He continued that the indicators of the number of licensing applications and existing projects reflect the close cooperation between the public and private sectors. Sheikh Mohammed pointed out that the authority is committed to providing real estate services and simplifying procedures aimed at meeting the aspirations of investors and dealers in the sector, as well as to achieve development goals by providing a safe and sustainable real estate environment. In implementation of the directives of His Majesty the King, the Royal Humanitarian Foundation began transferring the budgets allocated for the celebration of the Silver Jubilee of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne to charities and charitable funds. On the occasion, the Secretary General of the RHF, Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King, the Honorary President of the RHF and Prime 
supporter of humanitarian work in Bahrain for the gesture for his support and interest in charitable and humanitarian work in Bahrain and for his keenness of enhancing the principles of community partnership which reflects his appreciation for the humanitarian effort of charitable and charitable funds. He hailed the support of the government led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to the RHF and humanitarian work in Bahrain. He also commended the efforts of the representative of His Majesty the King for humanitarian work and youth affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, in leading the charitable and humanitarian work of the RHF. Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa stated that the RHF coordinated with the Ministry of Finance and official authorities and the necessary official procedures were followed to transfer the budgets to charities and charitable funds by the RHF. 